Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome over here to the Descar Red Bull Knockout Series Season 5 2016 here on the Ziggo Sports. We're back for race number 5. That means we have 3 races left before the finale. So woo, everybody excited way. Fissa. Uh, anyways, um, race number 4 was caution free, crash free race. So uh, won by our pole sitter and that indeed is Logan Claudel in the number 5 car. So he is on the pole, not with us anymore, are uh, John Arndt in number 3, so that's unfortunate for him. Both John and Jeff Arndt are out. John Cedino was the only one from the team who's out, who uh, signed up. Dylan Young also out, was same story, only one from his team. And Zachary Fitzwater as well after the um, well problems with the sign-ups and all that kind of stuff. So that means we have 22 cars left and 4 cars are going to be knocked out as this thing as well and that who those four are going to be will know in a few moments first off logan Cladell on the pole with outside joshua michaels in the number 66 car so as we skim through the field and still once again it's pretty pretty surprisingly some drives we haven't talked a whole lot about i just realized that and the 94 car debbie myers is actually one of them i didn't even know who was in that car to be honest so jane pinter and we know that he got a pole for race number one um, and some drivers like, um, well, like Beth Black, for instance, we've talked a whole lot about. So, pretty interesting. Of course, we might see some surprises in that finale with 10 cars. So, who those surprises are going to be, we'll have to wait and see for that. We'll have to wait for that. So, anyways, number five car on the pole. He was on the outside pole for the previous race. Now he is on the inside pole. So, that's good for him. But of course, you never know what's going to happen. Some drivers um, have a good race and one race, and the next time they are out, some drivers is completely opposite ways. Some drivers have two bad races, still survive it. Some have only good races. You never know what's going to happen, and that's the fun thing of this knockout series. There's always 100% unexpected things happening, so you never know what's going to happen. I think, well, that's also on one hand, it's very nerve-wracking for these drivers. And for the people watching, of course. And on the other hand, it is a whole lot of fun. So, 100% big unknowns. One thing is for sure. We're going to start this race. Race number 5 over here. Let's get ready to rumble once again at Zendril. The green flag is out. And would have, who would have known that the number 5 car was not going to be leading out of turn number 1? Rocco Twyman shot out of a cannon in that number 98 car. And going to the lead already. Also has been pretty impressive this whole season long. So 22 cars are left. That means after this race only 18 cars left. Only 2 races to go. The Nieza Steinauer going to the front. And what surprises me is that the fewer cars we have. The more passing there is for the lead. We have had 2 leaders in the first 2 turns. We're coming out of the first 2 turns. That's quite amazing. Here comes the number 9 car to the inside. It's going to be leader number 3. There goes Heather Thomas. Oh, oh, oh. That's very close. Look out, guys. Look out. Keep it together. And that's what they do. Great race car drives we have over on the track. I mean, look at this. Heather Thomas is on the outside of a four-wide situation. Goodness gracious. The number 0 car is going to lead them back. And we got a five wide situation for the lead now. Oh boy, the closer we come to the finale, the aggress more aggressive these drivers are making their passes. As it is now Sonnecourst in the number 89 car who is up front. And we got this whole pack within 0 0.3 of a second. No kidding. That's absolutely amazing. Sun, of course, is now edging out. She's, well, running pretty far away from the field. The only problem is that she's going to be caught then with a full head of steam by the pack. Look at them. Sun, of course, still up front in the number 89 car. But here comes on the low side the number 66 of Joshua Michaels back again. James Shelley's there as well. We got a crash. We got a crash. And we got, I think, the two cars, the two skull cars, the zero and the one car involved. Oh, look out, look out for the number 80, 90, 38 car that is. And we got lost a couple of drivers. 
And there is the 57 car, he's won, and indeed, there are four drivers in serious trouble. This, I think, is Rocco Twyman, indeed. We got Heather Thomas involved, there is the zero car of Robert Oslakia, and the 57 car with big damage, Annie Thomas, that is. Sandekor is still up front, the white flag, by the way, is out. This is the final lap. Now, of course, it's going to be the question, because we have had four cars out of this deal, four cars involved in a crash. Are those four going to be the ones who are going to be out or are we going to see another incident which will take out other cars and which will save the four drivers that just wrecked a few moments ago? That's going to be the big question. And of course the big, big question as well, who's going to win this race? To the inside is number 35 of Tommy Turbo right next to Sonic Course in the number 89 car. Here's the smoke. From the cars that wrecked one lap ago. And who is going to win this race? Bro, it's Tommy Turbo in the number 35 car. Who has the edge in front of Sonic Course. But can she get the run on the outside? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. It is going to be Tommy Turbo in the number 35 car. Who will win race number 5. And secure himself a... Well, not only a spot in for race number 6. But also a pole position for that race. So... Great racing by Tommy Turbo. Now, of course, the question is going to be who's going to be out. Whew. Everybody can breathe again. So, Sonic Course finishing second place. Well, I think she will be pretty happy with that. Um, she's, some, she's a driver who has never won before. Seriously, she has never won before in one of my series. But she has had some pretty close finishes, pretty good finishes. And indeed, as you can see, the standings are now official. And that means that the four drivers we said a few moments ago were involved in that crash. Well, f at least four of the drivers that were involved and had the worst of it. Um, they are all out. So that's a very, very tough break for Rocco Twyman in the number 98 car. Who indeed has won a race already this season. That's the first winner from this season who is going to be out. Heather Thomas in the number 9 car also out and Aiden Thomas is still uh, is also out so that means that both Heather Thomas and Aiden Thomas are out of this deal now and that's a tough break for them. Robert Oslaki and the number 0 car also out so t both the skull cars involved Beth Black eventually continued her way so lucky break for her. And that means we're gonna have to take a look at the replays over here. We got Tommy Turbo as your winner. He will be on pole for race number six and not with us anymore. It will be Rocket Twyman in number 98, Heather Thomas in number nine, Robert Oslakia in the zero, and the 57 of Aiden Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at those replays. So eventually it was the number zero car who got turned around, Robert Oslakia, and yeah, if this would have been the, um, the Christmas Royals, it would have been a perfect elimination. Um, Damien Spawner in number 26 car is going to turn around the zero into the 57 car and they will turn together into the number one and bang and that's it for those drivers and I think oh Damien Spawner did get a piece of it then they will take out Jane Pinter and there Heather Thomas with nowhere to go in the number nine car Rocco Twyman also spinning around and so those there we got Five cars spinning around, two continuing. Demi Spander and um, Beth Black, they are the lucky ones who continued their way. So there is the number 57 car spinning through the grass. Number 9 of Heather Thomas hitting the wall. Of course, both Robert Oslakia, Heather Thomas, Aiden Thomas, and Rocco Twyman did not continue to the next race. So that's a tough break for them. It's 50 car, 57 car is still spinning. And he eventually got on pit road as well. I think he got the worst of this the whole deal of the four drivers. I'm not sure what caused the most damage to his car though. Because I don't think he hit a whole lot of walls. Oh, he hit a couple of cars there. Look at this. There is... Oh uh, yeah. Just a pinball. There's nothing you can do. And with these speeds, there is saving your car is nearly impossible. Although these guys do save their car pretty neatly. Aiden Thomas then spinning and coming back on the racetrack again. I think that might have even done the most damage to his car. That's coming back on the racetrack again. Now the point is, while we were watching this, there was more trouble. And I'm not sure who it all involved. But of course we did saw, see the number 38 car of Joseph Brummer run on the apron. 
I'm not sure. If a few moments later, I saw people running through the grass. So there indeed, Joseph Brummer made contact with the 51 car. Both slam into the wall. 51 and it is of Anthony Lopez. And then they, they will continue their way though. No worries for them. Do have some damage. And even Danny Spawner and Beth Black will pass them. So... A little bit of contact over here while the 38 car was coming back on the racetrack again. And what brought him on that point initially was just, well, wreck avoidance, I guess. I don't know. Went on the apron and then thought, well, let's, whoa, two wheels on the grass. Let's just race around here because I think that's safer. Oh, close, close, close. Trying to come back again. Then makes contact with the 51 car. Bam, both in the wall. But both continuing their way. And eventually making it to race number five. But unfortunately, that same cannot be said of these four drivers Rocco Twyman, Heather Thomas, Robert Oslakia, and Aiden Thomas. That's also the order in which they will finish. They did not make it to the next round, so they will not have them back again. But Tommy Turbo in number three, five hundred, will be on pole. That was it for race number five. We will see you back for race number six. I don't know when it is going to be, but somewhere within the next two weeks, we will end this series. So just keep an eye out on my channel. Also, Phillips Cup Series will end in those two weeks, most likely. So for now, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time with the Dascar Red Bull Knockout Series season number five, 2016. Did I say? Yeah, I did say it correctly. Okay, so anyways, Rebel Nooker Series Season number 5, 2016, here on Ziggo's Sports. Boom! Now I'm going to look for the spider.